in an opt-in file. And then you can also look at, and this I, I captured this yesterday and I checked it this morning, there still is just one prime contractor who is looking for help. So this prime contractor is American Paving Company of Fresno. And then he says what he's looking for to prepare the stormwater forms, traffic control plan, construction area signs, barricades, coal plane, AC pavement, landscaping, erosion control. So what he did is he went through the bid items. He knows what he wants to handle or she and then has advertised, this is what I want help with. So it's a wonderful way for you as the subs, if you are the subs, to say, this is exactly what I do. So to then go on in and offer that help. This, this spot is, is also, this is where the prime goes in to fill out the form that you just saw that says this is who they are and basically the same kind of form as the opt-in but it's from the primes aspect. I'm the prime contractor, this is the contract, contact person, and this is what I want help with. And there is a limited number of um, keystrokes in each one of these boxes, so be succinct and don't be repetitive. Don't say I do this or I, you know, I've been in there recently and they keep listing the company names up here, but then they come down here and say as this their company name again, we do this. You just use short words, um, say if it's a concrete, concrete framing, concrete pouring, concrete finishing, you know, or just framing, pouring, finishing. And um, the one nice thing about these websites is you all are contractors, small or big, and you basically speak the same language. I'm an administrator, and I don't speak that language, but in these forums, you're talking to each other. Quite often when I'm looking at contact lists for events I'm going to do, like I was going through one till 2 o'clock this morning for an event we're having next month, and it's really hard to really get a handle on what does this person or this business do. So try to be as succinct as you can because I may not send a letter notifying this person of this event because to me it doesn't look like they're hitting one of the bid items but yet they very well could be. So try to be succinct in your response. <coughs> then back in here, um, and then you can actually go in as a prime before you even bid this and you can see the, the 13 firms that have offered to be um, subs. And I went ahead and printed all these because to me it's interesting that this, this job is in, Sa is in Santa Cruz, but the companies are from all over. First one, um, James Transportation. And if you look at any of the contracts, for any of our kids, whoever's doing their work, he is the first one to opt in for every contract. Whether they've got somebody Monday morning at O Dark 30 goes in there and slams this information out, he's in there. Um, and he's from Folsom. We have interstate sales from Auburn, um, AKA Environmental from Alta Loma, I mean, from Elk, uh, Redondo Beach, Lodi, Visalia, San Diego. Irvine, Lincoln, and here's one, Capitola, right down the street, amazing. So the prime contractor then can just look through these and can actually make contact and say, send me a bid for this, contact report on, this is exact, this is precisely what I'm looking for, can you provide me a bid? And you can see that their statuses are there, he's a disadvantaged business, a small business, and a UDB business. So he has that all already stated. Um, and so if they're looking to uh, have their goals met, this is specific. And that contractor can just look for, if he needs a DBE or a UDBE, he's going to go in there and just look at those firms and try to get bids from them. 
And then there's, you can see who has pulled the plant, non-bidding plans or the bidding plans. Um, if, you, if you're going to bid, you can, with the specs, you can see them. But in order to bid the contract, you have to order a set of plans. And um, when that comes up, it's actually the same pages are seen by each one. So there's actually 48 companies who have pulled plans on this. And you can see here, it's either a bidder's package or a non-bidder's package, but yet one and only one of them has issued, has put himself in there as a prime looking for help. So 48 of them are out there kind of looking through the provisions, talking to their staff, and um, deciding whether or not they are going to uh, get the project. The other thing that Bradford talked about a little bit was different goals. The, the job as it's listed on the web will have the goals right on the face of the ad. Um, UDBE is a subset of Disadvantaged Business Enterprise. Uh, Caltrans did an extensive uh, study and there are six ethnicity and genders put into the Disadvantaged Business Enterprise program. They're uh, women-owned, black-owned, Native American, Asian Pacific, Asian Continental, and Hispanic. And when they looked at those six groups, they found that four of those six groups were being underutilized. So just in this last six to eight months, Caltrans has started to uh, look at a UDB goal. Because we, we certify folks as UDBs. It's not a different pro process for UDBs. It's just if you are a woman-owned business, Native American-owned business, Black American-owned business, or a Pacific Islander-owned business, you then fall, or Asian Islander, Asian Pacific Islander, you fall into the UDBE format. And but if you are an Asian Continental or Hispanic business, you are a DBE. So Caltrans then has started to have goals as UDBE as well as DBE. I just have put this one up just as reference. Yes? What percentage of ownership would qualify a company? 51 in any of those um, ethnicities or race. Or okay, we're coming back. This is the, the plan holders list. Um, I guess I showed a few pages. Then we're back again to the office engineer website. We're going to look at the um, contract contractor info table. This info table basically is a lot like what we've looked at before, just in a different format. It's a checkerboard format that has a lot of the exact same things, just in a different way to get to them. Um, one of the things I haven't talked about, so we'll talk about it here, is what we call our minor B contracts. Uh, these contracts are any contract less than $250,000. And that just went up as of January 1st. It used to be uh, $100,000 for any contract or $147,000 for a public works job, and most of ours are public works. So we used the $147,000 figure, but now all contracts, it's 250000 And basically what a minor B is, is Caltrans has made their goal that all of these contracts will go to small businesses. And so most of these are not on the web. Um, we have some, when you come in, and because they're smaller contracts, they're in a different office. These contracts are at our DPAC, which is the Division of Purchasing and Contracts. Most of our service contracts, they do. Um, and so they 